The following contest is for the CR Fire Pro Road Junior Heavyweight Championship, making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood. She's the Hija de la Matriaca, Soberana Dragoness. And her opponent, she's the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Road Junior Heavyweight Champion, representing Nice and Sweet Connection, and one half of the tag team, Nice and Sweet, Lizzie Sweet. Your referee for this match, Yana 2G. All right, everybody, here we go. Welcome to the Rose Big Event. Welcome. Soberana Dragoness, challenger. Sure, she's very happy about uh, Denardé Gauthier winning their singles competition. Turquoise winning the junior and Gimé Show women, uh, winning the women's or woman's. Depends on how you want to pronounce it. I would think woman's is better. It's just a little bit <laughs> Not used to it. Oh, nice preemptive stop to that short range lariat by the champion. Things got hectic, and because they did, a small tournament had to be held. And in that tournament, Soberana, she went through Yuli Wade, which is one third of Nice and Sweet Connection. Man, she's putting it on Lizzie Sweet now. Um, and then she had to go through. Ecuador Obro, which resulted in a disqualification where, as Stout has said, the ruling was when he, in, he, he, when he entered the room, ring with the illegal object, yes, the count was on, but when he exited the ring, it should have stopped. That's how she feels, and the refs, they do that because it's sort of per rule, but uh, our matchmaker, Stout, she did not like that rule, and so... There was a rematch for a special event. And on that rematch, Soberana, she defeated Ecuador Obro again. It was a heavily contested and brutal match, but she won. And so she's here buying a game for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Lizzie Sweet has been, she's been a battler. This is her third time as champion. So both of them, no stranger to holding titles. And as you know, Soberana, she's like the, the belt master. Nice top uh, key lock she had on there. But no, that was, that, was, that was a Buffalo sleeper, just slightly loose, I guess. Oh, man, nice evasion, punch, elbow, flying man. Champion's like, I'm, I'm staying with it. Off those ropes. Oh, tested some strength right there, but no, they 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 they, they stood to that and now they exchanging back and forth. Lizzie Sweet get the side headlock. Pushed off. Elbow, but not a stun. Single leg trip takedown. Got her up. Keeping her off kilter. 180 butterfly face buster. That that I mean that could be the sneaky one right there. That's her finisher. No, just a two count. Dragging away from the ropes took a lot of time. Nice rolling knee drop, followed up by another one by the challenger. Angle body slam by the champion. Go with that little splash, put the body on her, and just two and a quarter. So Ronda got her up. Gord Buster rolled over into the Gator Roll. A rolling neck lock. Off those ropes. STO by the champion. Got her up. Nice dash press right there. Just knocking her down. Pretty sure. Easy sweet. She's doing what she's got to do. You know, she. Oh, a, a spear! Standing moonsault! Two! 
Oh, so Broner just kicks out. What's so better on not? Oh, oh, Giannis down. Giannis, the referee is down. And now, so Broner wants to turn it up a notch. And you know she was hitting her harder than she should. Two, taking advantage of the ref being down. And a lot, a lot of these, you know, wrestlers that are either highly competitive or whatnot, they do that to the top. Lizzy frog splash. Right to the small of the back. Rolls the challenger over. Two. And no, not yet. Lead to the body of the champion. She got her up. Octopus stretch. Octopus stretch. No, no surrender. Lizzie's doing almost everything that she can. Sobron is gassed. That's going to help Lizzie recover. It, no, she wasn't able to strain it. Yeah, then the legal choke from behind. And she grabs a standing switch, push whipped by the champion. Slide through, coming off those ropes, STO. She's got the challenger up. And she's got her up, butterfly, the 180 butterfly face buster right there. Or angel's wings as you want to call it, and no. That's the second time she's done that. You rarely see it. She's busting it out for Soberana. And Soberana got her up, brain buster. That might be it, everybody. Crowd coming alive for this. It's one, two, and kick out. Pulling away from Rose. Gave her that little bit of time to recuperate. Having a body slam. So brought to the outside. Lizzie's resting. No. La quebrada. Nice. Asai moonsault. And she's got her up. Gold buster. Rolls her over. There's nothing she can do. They both get into the ring, both worse for wear. Off those ropes, there's press. She's got her up. Back drop hold, but they're in the ropes, they're in the ropes. Trying a body slam, they just got a strong ground game, everybody now. Put the body on off those ropes, too. No, and I'm waiting for that three. I'm waiting for it. Sober on got her up. No, nice. Nice snap, suplex counter. Oh, slap. We're rocking. Rolls her over. Champion's in trouble. Two, can she kick out? No, she can't. And you're a winner of the match and new CR Fire Pro Rose Jr. Heavyweight Champion is Sobrana Dragones. Sisterhood has bolstered their, their title, their titles. They, they got three. Good grief. All right. Man, Lizzie Sweet, that's a, that's, a, that's a good woman right there, but it sucks to see her lose, but we got more matches to go. So, let's crown this new champion, and let's roll. The following contest is for the CR Fire Pro Road Heavyweight Championship, making his way to the ring, representing Claws of Fury, Bowron. And making her way to the ring, the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Road Heavyweight Champion. Representing the lair in one half of the cross faction tag team CM United, Solstice. Free for this match, Quintessa Morata. Right. All right, everybody. Heavyweight championship on the line. About look, this right here, interesting because life he tried to climb those ranks again. He got stopped by Miss Submit, you know, and that was a battle. That was a straight up battle. Then Miss Submit was like, It's time for me to get up there because she wanted to get this belt, and that's when Ice, well. Ice, you know, Iron Claw Slam, and she put Miss Submit out for eight months. That's that's the schedule anyway. You know, it might be nine, it could be seven, but 
they estimate eight months if she does things properly, which she needs to. Um, and then Ice went against Baldon, and Baldon put a stop to Ice, and now Baldon is here going against Solstice, and this is his uh, first time being at the dance, I believe. So, you know, normally he's all high rank, but not here. Come off those ropes. And you saw Slugger 9, yeah, he, he, he won the title from uh, Sidar, and then Solstice won it from Slugger 9, and we want to see if Sosa can keep it for the, you know, this is her second run. We're going to see if she can... Oh! No! Oh! Uh, the winner of the match and new CR Fire Pro Road Heavyweight Champion is Bowron. Uh, wow. Uh, that was a body blow for real. Um, yeah, I'm going to call her mom and tell her what happened. That was, that was brutal. So, let's... Okay, we got one more match. Uh, wow, congratulations, Balron. That was decisive. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's. I'm stunned. All okay. I just I'm, I'm warming up here, and it's like, nope, done. Okay, so crown this new champion, and let's get to the final match of the evening. And let's roll. The following contest is for the CR Fire Pro Road Tag Team Championship making their way to the ring, representing hierarchy. First, El Cuba Dortis and his partner, Vivian Soul Sister, Redemption. And their opponents, the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Road Tag Team Champions. Representing Jailed Without Order, first, G-Rock, and his partner, Sweet Rock, J-W-O Rock. Referee for this match, Cherry. All right, JWO throwing me for a loop. The A, hey, look, who came out, who walked out first was Sweet Rock. So I'm going by the card and I'm not looking up at the screen until the last second. I, got, I just got to roll with it. But G Rock is in the ring. That, that, that's the brother, Sweet Rock being the sister. And, and they painted the belts. Although they're using now a paint they can wash off easily. And right now, um, there's a little part of me that's really uh, excited for this match. I'm going to tell you why, because here's what's up. JWO, they won these belts from Malfeasance. And I mean, JWO Rock, they're the first road tag team champion. They're the first. All right. After that, it was cold. After they won the first, uh, they, they, they won Crashing Seas. They won Cold Dawn. They were able to claim both belts at one time. They held them at one time. Uh, and they went on. But their biggest rivals, Cold, Ice and Sickle, their biggest rivals, Redemption. Redemption was always climbing the, the, the ranks but never gaining the belt. Okay, my voice is just straight up in the red. I don't know why all of a sudden. I guess something happened. I don't know. I'm going to lower it just a little. But, uh, yeah. So, good grief. Staying in the red. Okay. And so, um, they stayed there. Cold kept those belts for about seven months. Redemption got a hold of him and kept him for about six, maybe seven months. Roughly about the same. And then, and then, um, Castigation came along and they owned those belts for 11 months. 
they had it. That was just it. And then Malfeasance came along. And Malfeasance couldn't beat. They couldn't they couldn't beat Castigation the first two times. And then I don't know what happened. Because the game um plan for both teams stayed the same. I watched the match, I commentated it, and then I watched it back. The game plan was the same, but I guess it was just luck. Because sometimes it comes down to luck, just that momentary piece of timing. And yeah, I don't know if it really came down to that. I might have to look back at that match again, but Malfeasance won. They they won, they became champions, and JWO was like we're climbing the ranks, you know, they were beating former champions and Cold, Redemption, Castigation, they could not get out the starting block. JWO uh, climbed those ranks, Redemption was climbing the ranks, Redemption couldn't beat JWO Rock, JWO Rock beat Malfeasance, and Redemption, they had to, they, they had to defend, they, you know, uh, against, twice, against uh, face, J, uh, DWA face breakers. Sluggernon and Big Planet. Sluggernon had just, you know, the, the the month before lost the heavyweight title of the Solstice and went back to tag team. And they, you know, they were winning. They were kind of housing people and got up there and Redemption was like, no. Nah. And it was such a, a snapshot, pin breakup situation that Spout says, hey, we got to do this again. None of the crap. They did it again, and almost in the same fashion, almost. But it was like, okay, now you, you can tell this, this, there's a winner. So it was like uh, face breakers just won't meant to beat redemption at this time anyway. And now we got redemption trying to reclaim those belts they have for a while, and JWO Rock trying to keep a hold of them, especially after beating Malfeasance and after what Malfeasance did at the end of uh, TV's big event. So with that, with that assault. You know, and, and El Cubadores is just bleeding all over the place. And I mean, that's JWO Rock. Look, you can't underestimate them because they they just brawl the whole time. Oh man, nice double overhook belly to belly suplex or front suplex. El Cube got that head control, makes the tag. You know, 60 minute matches. Big time suplex. And Vivian with the overhead elbow, keeping control. My voice might be too low, everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit. And that choke. And the illegal choke. It's like one you in a row, so now you're just doing the illegal choke. Jump to that body. LQ came in wearing the crimson mask. The powerhouse of the team. Vivian ain't no slouch. Yeah, she returning the favor. G Rock with that looping punch. And now he's in the corner. Vivian got him. Got him up. Got him up. No. And you was like, I'm going to just body press you. And El Cuba's daughter's taking advantage of the downed opponent. And now they got him. They popping him in the face. Ask me, can't ask that man give up. But hey, I'm, is that a submission now? Are we doing that? Because it's never done it before. Referees never checked before. I mean, the jab is one thing, then the poke to the eye. Yeah, LQ got to tag out to the cobwebs. Double suplex by Redemption on the G Rock. Now they popping Sweet Rock in the face. Is that when she give up? I, I don't know, man. This, what is, you know, these are rules down here. I mean, this, this ain't, you know, Triple A R or Consejo Mundo de Lucha Libre. It ain't none of that. But, you know, I guess it is what it is in this match. It's, 
Ooh, headbutt off that top rope. Got Vivian, you know, what, 15 feet to the mat. You are trying to break up that. Now he's like, you know what? We see how you like it. Trying to get it back on their side of the ring. And see, that's what they call tag team expertise when you're trying to cut the ring off. Man, nice court screw fisherman net breaker going for the pin on the wrong side of the ring. And now he's going for it. And no, she just kick out. And he got stomped in the back of the head. Package driver, two, three, and he got it. And yo, winners of the match and still see our fire pro road tag team champions, JWO Rock. And they left Redemption beaten, battered, bloody. Man, but hey, JWO Rock, they, they was like, look, we ain't playing around, you know? That fisherman bust a hole. Okay, package driver, I called it. But, hey, I hope y'all enjoyed this. This was I, this is a strong, strange road big event. Bowdon stunned me. I'm still kind of messed up over that. But hey, this has been great. Remember, uh, Pain and Agony Wrestling, that returns in April. All right? This has been Cedric for CR Wrestling, CR Wrestling Commentary, CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Road, Pain and Agony Wrestling, all that good stuff down there in that description. Check them out. Show them some love. You know, subscribe to them and whatnot. Spread the word. You know, word of mouth is, 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 is faster or word of text or whatnot. You know, hey, you know, help these people out. They, 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 they do good production and whatnot, all right? You know? And so, with that said, y'all be safe. Stay safe. See you next time. And let's keep the belt on the champion. Good night, everybody.